Come on, YouTube. Now, normally I don't make videos like this, uh, just because I don't really know what to say. But as soon as I saw these Pokemon, I was really excited because finally we have some possible new six gen Pokemon revealed to us, which is really great because much like me, I'm sure all of y'all are just ready to go for X and Y and just can't wait for them to come out. But yeah, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, talk about the Pokemon and give you my thoughts on them, and you guys can leave comments down below what you think about the new Pokemon. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Uh, what do you want to be implemented into 6th gen that has not been in implemented into any of the past gen games? And yeah, and uh, we're going to be starting off with the uh, GOAT Pokemon, which is to the far right. Apparently, its name is Go Goat, and according to Cerebi, it is the riding Pokemon. It's a grass type, and it can learn the move Horn Leech, as well as in the game, you're actually going to be able to ride around this Pokemon in the fields. So that's actually going to be a pretty cool new addition. If you can do it with other Pokemon, like if you could ride an Arcanine, if you could ride a for alligator or something, I don't know, that would be pretty cool. I also hope they put in uh, the thing where they had in 4th Gen with Heart Gold and Soul Silver where the Pokemon can follow you around. So maybe that's how you're going to be able to ride this Pokemon and maybe hopefully ride other Pokemon from the looks of it. It seems to be, I, I really actually like the design of this Pokemon and I'm hoping that its final evolution does turn out to be a pretty badass Pokemon. Or who knows, maybe this is its final evolution. But yeah, I, I actually really like this Pokemon. Moving on to the uh, Little Lizard. It's an Electro-type Pokemon, and according to Cerebi, it might actually be a normal type. Unfortunately, its name is unviewable uh, due to the overexposure of something. I don't know, that's just what it says on Cerebi. But it is confirmed that it's going to have a new move called Bora Bora Charge. Now, when I first saw this Pokemon, I was like, eh, it doesn't look to be anything special. I don't really have any hopes for it. But the more I looked at it, the more I noticed that it could possibly evolve into Mawa because it's like little... Um, ears I guess those are at the back could like form my wall's jaw and it could just like stand up but then reading that it was an electro type obviously that's not gonna happen but who knows maybe this could actually be a pretty OP Pokemon or its final evolution will be a uh, pretty powerful uh, next off I believe is the bird Pokemon which is the Robin Pokemon known as Yaya Koma I probably butchered that but yeah from the looks of it it is the just the uh, generic bird type Pokemon that there are in every game like Talo, Starly, uh, and Pidgey, uh, the other two. <laughs> but yeah, it actually looks really fun. It is a normal flying type, and I'm really interested to find out what its final evolution is going to be. Hopefully, it won't be another Unpheasant where its final evolution is just, nah, it's just not really great. Because I didn't really like Unpheasant as a generic bird type Pokemon, but hopefully this will have a better final evolution that is actually viable in battling. And then finally off is the Panda Pokemon, which honestly is my favorite. Because look at it, he... He just looks really badass, like he gives no fucks, he will take on anybody, and it is actually a fighting type, its name is Yachamaru, which again, I probably butchered that, and it is, and it is the naughty Pokemon, and it has a move, it has a new move called Parting Remark, so that's going to be pretty interesting to see what it's going to be, but if it is a fighting type, uh, according to Sour, it could possibly be another fighting grass type, so seeing another Breloom could be really good or really bad, because Breloom already is kind of a threat in OU, but if this thing does not prove to live up to the standards of Breloom, it might go down to the lower tiers and be a threat in the lower tiers, so I would definitely be using its final evolution. Or maybe this is, it, uh, maybe this is its only evolution. But yeah, this seems to be about it. Also, uh, there seems to be more uh, information about the game box art, as well as the Pokedex and possible uh, region map to it, but the picture isn't completely visible according to Serebi, so there's not much detail about that. But yeah, I really have high hopes for X and Y. Um, hopefully, it'll turn out to be as good as I hoped it will. And I want you guys, like I said earlier, uh, to leave a comment down below on what you think about these new Pokemon. Do you like them? Do you not like them? And what do you want to see implemented into X and Y that has not been implemented into the past gen games? But yeah, with that, um, I guess I'm out of here. Just leave your comments down below.